for joining me in my kitchen today. It's December 23rd and I thought I would do something a little extraordinary for you on YouTube. I have a cannabis kitchen and in front of you is some work that I have put together for the holiday season. Um, I've started with some creamy caramel. This is a cannabis strain that we grew over the summer season. So this is from 2018's Summer Harvest. Um, this cannabis is a hybrid, uh, indica dominant. And what I'm gonna do is infuse it into some eggnog for the holiday season. Now, with infusing, we always choose bases that are high in fat because cannabis, the medicine in the cannabis is fat soluble. So that means that when you pair cannabis with fat in an edible, you're making it more easily absorbable in the body. So in order for us to do this infusion, we must decarboxylate the cannabis first. And that is a big, long, fancy term for processing it uh, with some heat so that we can make the conversion from its raw form. This is, this is its raw form here. So um, this cannabis has been dried and cured properly, but it's still in its raw form. When we decarboxylate it, we're actually losing a carbon molecule from it, and we're turning it from its raw form into its activated form. And you can see I've, I've done this for you, so you can see the difference between the raw form and the decarboxylated form. The decarboxylated form is definitely more toasted. So think of it like toasting coconut or toasting sesame seeds. That's exactly what we want to do. We want to, we want to heat it to a certain level for a certain amount of time. So ideally 240 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 minutes will activate your cannabis for you. And this is what I've done. I have actually decarboxylated it in a pressure cooker and we're gonna show you the techniques for that later on in the video. But um, that is your very first step and it's your most important step because basically if you don't do that, you're le leaving your efficacy of your finished product up in the air. So, will you pull uh, will you pull activated cannabinoids out of cannabis if you don't decarboxylate it prior to making an edible? Yes, you will, but it won't be as efficient as it could be or as strong as it could be. So, you want to make this step a priority before you make an edible. Okay. So, with that said, I'm going to take the decarboxylated cannabis, and, and this is approximately 10 grams, and we're going to put it into the canister of a magical butter machine. Now, this is um, organic eggnog that I was able to purchase um, from a farm that has Jersey cows as their main herd. So this is a special eggnog in that it's made with A2 milk and organic eggs. Now with bases for cannabis, because it's fat soluble, we would look for the highest fat content in the base that we can. So most often when we're infusing cow butter or ghee or coconut oil or olive oil, we're dealing with 14 grams of fat per uh, teaspoon. In this, because we're dealing with whole egg yolks and heavy cream, we're dealing with a much higher fat content. The average fat content in eggnog is 19%. So we're already uh, about four grams higher per teaspoon 
in this eggnog than we would be if we just used a butter or an olive oil or even a coconut oil. Now, what I am going to be careful of with this is because it is a dairy product, I'm not going to be able to run it as long in an infusion or as hot a temperature. So what I'm going to do now is pour this eggnog over top of this cannabis and I'm going to choose the lowest setting that Magical Butter has for temperature and that is 130 degrees Fahrenheit. So you can see at 130 degrees Fahrenheit there's still some heat involved and we still would get some decarboxylation but it wouldn't come anywhere close to the 240 degrees that THC is uh, it requires to activate. And if you're using a cannabis strain that has CBD in it, that takes even a higher heat for a longer period of time. You're up to 295 degrees to, de to activate uh, CBD for 75 minutes. So, so right away, please look into decarboxylating because it will take your edibles to an entirely different level if you're willing to make that extra 40 minute investment in time. And come on guys, if you've spent four months growing this herb organically, are you going to throw it for 40 minutes? I don't think so. So just, just humor me and try decarboxylating. So. You saw that I didn't grind this in advance. This is because the Magical Butter Machine has an immersion blender feature and it's going to grind this cannabis as it goes. So once I get this lid set on, I'm basically going to be setting the temperature and the time and I'm going to let the machine do the infusion work for me. So right away, 1.30 and I'm going to run this for one hour and after the hour mark I will check it. So here we go. And you'll notice that the magical butter machine is lit up now. It's engaging. We're going to start to hear it grind in, in just uh, a minute or two. But uh, at any rate, that's as far as we'll go now at this point and I'll come back in an hour and I'll show you what the product looks like at that point. And if by magic a whole hour has passed and the infusion in the magical butter machine is finished and I have switched it off and let it cool just slightly. So to recap I put 10 grams of a strain of cannabis called creamy caramel into organic eggnog. It's run now for an hour at 130 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm just getting ready to do my first strain or filtering and what I'm going to do is capture some of the plant material um, in a, a fine mesh stainless steel strainer. Um, this, I wish I could tell you how great this smells. We're getting um, definite uh, aromas of cinnamon, nutmeg, and cannabis into creamy eggnog. And you can see that I'm just taking my time here to pour this slowly through the strainer. Okay, and now I'm back to do a second filter and I'm going to use a 90 micron bubble bag. So you may be familiar with these things if you've made bubble hash in the past. That's what these things were originally designed for. But it is a small grade filter and I'm going to run this eggnog through it as a secondary filter and that is just to pick up any little loose bits of cannabis that, that may not be desirable to filter through somebody's teeth at a heart holiday party, if you know what I mean. So here we go.
little bit of steam still coming off this eggnog. So once I get it filtered through the 90 micron bag, I'm going to put it back into its original glass milk bottle and I'm going to cool it. And uh, while I cool it, I've also got some heavy cream that I'm going to whip and we're going to use that on top of this green creamy caramel cannabis infused eggnog. And I'm back just to show you the cannabis uh, that I pulled off of the eggnog once it was infused for an hour in the magical butter machine. So this is the first filter that was with the fine mesh stainless steel strainer that caught the bulk of the pulp that uh, existed that was kind of sitting and floating on top of the eggnog. So you'll remember that I started with full buds this size in the Magical Butter Machine. The first strain pulled that off, the second strain pulled this off, and if you'll recall I used a 90 micron bubble bag, the same kind of bubble bag that you would use for bubble hash to filter this off. Now you might think to yourself, oh that looks pretty grungy and awful, but I'm going to tell you that there's still a fair bit of medicine in this and in this pulp. So we're going to save this and use it in another baking recipe at another time. So if you're not ready to infuse it into something else right away, you can freeze it and it freezes well indefinitely. When you go to mix it into something, you can put it straight into another baking recipe as an additional ingredient. So if you're making um, a small batch of cookies or a loaf of some kind, I would take this 10, 10 gram pulp and I would put it in as an additional ingredient. I wouldn't I wouldn't make any other uh, augmentation to the recipe that you're using. Um, and then know that there is going to be a little bit of activity to your infused baked good after the fact. It won't be super strong because normally we would use 30 grams and this is only 10, but it would still give you some activation. When we do decarboxylation at home, um, in our ovens or using a pressure cooker, the best that we're able to achieve is 52% extraction of the available medicine. That still leaves 48% in the plant material. So please take as much medicine as you can from your plant material and don't discard your leftover pulp when you use uh, an infusion method. The only caveat to that is if you've used an alcohol as a solvent to do your extraction. If you do that, the alcohol will pull all of the uh, medicine, the cannabinoids, out of the gland heads of the trichomes on your plant material. Okay, so just know that when you're infusing food, there's still a lot of medicinal components left over in the pulp. Do not throw that out. So we're back and I'm just going to finish putting this infused eggnog back into its glass milk jar. And I'm sure that it's been a long time since many of you have seen a glass milk jar, but when you're buying from an organic farm, they make every um, uh, effort to store their produce in the best possible containers that they can for good health. So here we go, just pouring this uh, eggnog back into its container. And you can see that it's pretty uh, smooth. There's no bits of stem or leaf left in. Um, I did pull quite a few of the trichomes off of the 10 grams, and it was a sandy pulp in the bottom of the uh, bubble bag. 
and I will show you a still of that in this video so you can see what I'm talking about. It was worth the secondary filter in the 90 micron bubble bag. So here we go back into its container and what we'll do now is let this infused cannabis eggnog uh, continue to cool in the fridge and when I have it chilled again I will put it into its glass with some heavy whipped cream on top. Delicious. So come on back and I'll show you the final eggnog uh, fully put together and ready to serve. And I'm back now with the chilled cannabis infused eggnog which I have put over ice in a fancy glass. So just going to finish this by putting some whipping cream on top. So this is also from Limestone Creamery organic 35% heavy whipping cream. So again just want to stress here that cannabis is fat soluble so the higher the grams of fat you can get into your um, edible uh, concoction the better off it's going to be for absorption of the cannabis. So we're just putting that into the glass and this is some fresh nutmeg that I've grated. This particular nutmeg actually came from Jamaica. It's beautiful. All about the flavor combinations. And then just to finish with some cinnamon sticks. So there you go, cannabis infused eggnog just in time for the holidays. May your days be merry and bright and you enjoy the winter season for everything that it brings to you. Thanks for watching.